Hello everybody, this is Richard from Poor Man's Guides. I want to talk about my DC Motor Analyzer updates. I'll make this real quick, but basically at the top you see I've got a load button, motor 1, motor 2, motor 3, and a save. And that's pretty intuitively obvious. Basically it means you can have three different configurations that you can save. Um, if you notice here it says blade diameter and feet. I've added a new feature for halt and vault the option basically to switch between a horizontal axis and a, and a vertical axis. If I switch to vertical axis then notice the blade height uh, blade diameter turns into blade height and width and uh, of course you see the picture in the background change here so just by selecting <coughs> a, you know, halt or vault it, it lets you know what mode you're in so you don't make a mistake and uh, basically it'll say I load motor 1 it's a halt and you can see it starts charging at 8.3 miles an hour. The efficiency is 15% in this example and I wanted to talk about that. Uh, basically let's say it's 30% efficient, the blades are. Let's say your motor is 50% efficient. A lot of DC motors are 50 to 65%. So let's go ahead, and, so basically I cut this in half down to 15% and this gives me an almost real world. The only thing I'm leaving off now is I mean, this, this accounts for friction, um, this accounts for the motor losses, it doesn't account for wire length and, and voltage drop until you change this wire length to z from zero to something else. Let's say it's 50 feet, real world, that's 50 feet. I got 12 gauge wire, oh, voltage drop too high, see, 50 feet at 12 gauge for this motor and this amperage is just too high. So let's go down to 10 gauge. And now what we have is 34.5% voltage drop, fairly high. Fairly high. But you may want to use that. Uh, if you get it 30, 40, 50% voltage drop, and it lets your max of the motor, which is right here in blue, and could be it could be red depending on the situation, but uh, if if it's uh, showing 675 watts and that happens at 36.2 miles an hour. Maybe uh, maybe I don't have. I want a virtual furling system instead of a real furling system. Uh, I just I want the I want the windmill to be able to handle uh, 35, 45, 55 miles an hour. I can do that uh, with different mechanisms. And uh, and I've talked about that before. Uh, basically, the plastic of the PVC pipe uh, blades will bend. In fact, all small blades flexible blades will bend and change shape in the high wind so your TSR changes the uh, everything changes so your blades may never may not reach max potential it's maybe it's really 45 or 50 depending on the flexibility of the blades and uh, of course you won't you don't want them flexing too much they'll hit the tower break and that's not good so you got to leave yourself enough room for flex um, anyway so you can use that uh, like right now if I change this to let's say 11 gauge now I'm at 43.5. Let's go, say I go 12 gauge and it puts me over the limit, but let's say I go 45 feet. And now I'm at 49.3% voltage drop, 54.7 miles an hour. And it's actually more than that. More than likely it's more than that because the blades will flex. And not to mention, you can actually handle more than you know the, what the motor is rated for for a few minutes before it burns out anyway. So you can probably handle easily 60, 65 uh, miles an hour without much problem and probably for a while. In fact, you could probably handle 65 miles an hour continuously all night on a windy night like a storm and wouldn't be a problem because the blades aren't, the TSR changes so much that it really wouldn't be as spinning as fast as, as the computer world thinks it would be. Uh, real world is always different than theoretical. So you can see you can use that to your advantage if you wanted to. Or you could you could put a furling system on it and try to get everything as efficient as possible. Um, let's say you go back, you got your 50 feet, and let's say you use 8 gauge cable, um, make it 6, and that gives you 13.7% voltage drop. And uh, yeah, see that's more, and you could, if you try to furl, in the 25 to 30 mile an hour range, and your max is 30.4, then you're good. 
And let me show you here. You can uh, take motor two, load it. And notice it's a completely different setup, and um, it's set to eight percent in this case. Motor three. 30%, 30%, change, you know, all this stuff. Anyway, hope this helps. Uh, you guys have a good day. Thanks.